going to be talking about how to invest in cryptocurrency. Now, like anything in life, one simply does not just invest in anything without knowing what they're investing in. Just keep that in mind. Uh, don't be caught up in the FOMO fear of missing out. Most people see something on the rise, they want to jump on the bandwagon, and they're, they think they're going to make it. It's like the stocks, right? Oh, I heard my friend's investing in the stock, let's go buy it. Rubbish. Complete rubbish. There's a saying, if you don't know who the schmuck is in the room, you're the schmuck. So the first thing I tell anybody before investing in cryptocurrency is don't. And I'm not, I'm not saying don't because uh, it's not a good idea. I'm saying don't because you don't understand this space, okay? Like myself, I wouldn't invest in anything unless I truly understand it. So the first step is study the space. Understand what cryptocurrencies is. If you guys don't know what Bitcoin is, what Ethereum is, what cryptocurrency is, what blockchain technology is, there's a guide below this video. Okay, that's the first step. Understand what you're investing in and take your time. Spend a couple of months reading about it. Become an expert in the field, okay? Then once you have a grasp around the industry, the technology, and the different cryptocurrencies, then you can get started. So step one in getting started, once you've done the research, is open up an account on any single exchange. So you can go to Kraken or Coinbase. Those are simple ones, easy to, easy to set up, and deposit some money. Don't start big. People think they're gonna become rich investing in crypto. That's not the case. You don't just become rich at doing anything. Uh, there's a process, there's a strategy, there's you know how risk averse are, there's so many different variables for this. So I always tell people, start small, put a 500 bucks in because hey, if you've been investing or if you're thinking about it and if you study the space, you see this volatility like this all over the place, crazy volatility, especially now in uh, cryptocurrency season, it's crazy all over the place. Okay, so start small, 500 bucks, put it in. So now once you have 500 bucks, what do you invest in? So you connect your bank account, either through Coinbase or Kraken, you've deposited 500 bucks of, of fiat currency. Get the big two, okay? You get Bitcoin, get Ethereum for now. Simple, keep it safe. Even though there is a lot of volatility, it's still roughly safer than the other cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. So you have 500 bucks, I say 250 Bitcoin, 250 Ethereum. Next thing what you wanna do is continue researching and educating yourself on the other cryptocurrencies. There's millions out there. I'm not gonna name them right now. You can do your own research, but pick one, find out why that cryptocurrency exists in the first place, find out the team behind it, find out what problem they solve, read their white paper, and really understand, should you even put any money into this? Because like any different market, cryptocurrency is no different because you have speculators, you have speculators, you have market demand, you have supplying demand, uh, you have different layers and different variables and different teams and different individuals and institutions manipulating the prices, no different than anything else, okay? Uh, so you have to understand all the different layers. So do your research on every single coin. For example, do your research on Ripple, do your research on Dash, do your research on Litecoin, do your research on Monero, do your research on Golem, do your research on AMP, do your research on, you name it. Like I said, there's thousands, I'm not gonna name them all, right? But do your research on every single one. Understand the space, okay? Think if I want to do, if I want to start investing in stocks, I'm just going to simply invest in it. I'm going to research Tesla, Amazon, Google, Shopify. I'm going to find out who's on their team, who's on their board, what's their plan, what's their early earnings from last year, etc. All these numbers and all these things I need to know before I invest. Okay, so get that information. Next thing you need to know is talk to people. So a lot of these. Like, Cryptocurrencies, they have public figures. Not all of them, but some of them, actually most of them do. Talk to them, send them an email, or, or talk to the team and figure out what's going on internally. Join their Slack channel, join their Skype channel, join Facebook groups. So there's a good Facebook group, Cryptocurrency Club. Join that, check that out. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of different resources like that, but really go into the community and see what these individuals from these coins are actually doing. Finally, once you have some information, and let's say you've noticed that hey, Bitcoin has gone a little bit up and Ethereum has gone down a little bit, time to allocate. Maybe like every quarter you look at your holdings like any other investment, you're like, okay, I'm gonna move a little bit to this, I'm gonna move a little bit to that. So that's it, it's, it's, it's not complicated. These are small baby steps, but these baby steps gradually increase to bigger steps and these bigger steps gradually increase to huge, enormous steps. So you might go from $500 investment, next thing you know you're at 1,000, next thing you know you're at 25,000, next thing you know at 100,000. You know, hundred thousand dollars of somebody's money—that's something not to be messed around with, uh, no matter who you are. Okay, so you don't want to be losing that out. And people have lost millions of dollars in cryptocurrency space because of greed, because of fear of missing out. Greed is a 
It's very dangerous, okay? So you don't want to be greedy, you want to be smart, you want to be risk averse. You want to minimize your risk as much as possible, okay? So let's repeat that again. I have the steps right here if you're looking at that. Step one, actually a precursor to step one is, there we go. Precursor step one is understand the space. You can check out the guides below, okay? Then step one is go to Kraken or Coinbase. There's a link below this video, okay? To set up your account. Step two, invest a small amount, like 500 bucks or so, okay? Step three, buy the two big ones. For now, they're pretty stable compared to the other ones. So that's Bitcoin and Ether. Uh, step four, research and educate some more. So start picking the cryptocurrencies that interest you, figure out why people are investing in it, figure out the problem it solves, figure out the dev team, the, the whole team, everything, and spend some time and understand it, you know, become a master at it. Next thing you need to talk to the experts, so talk to other people who are investing in the space, whether that is individual investment or maybe they have like a crypto fund, okay? And then finally, it's time to reallocate. So every quarter, like Ray Dalio talks about in his old weather portfolio, you want to reallocate your investment. So if you're noticing some areas is down over here, put down if areas are, are improving much better or performing much better for yield, okay? That's it, it's not too complicated. This has nothing to do with day trading. I'm not talking about day trading at all. I don't do day trading. This is just talking about long-term investments. And for anybody who has any inclination in investing, this is simple steps to start. You know, it's not complicated, but please don't think that all of a sudden you're gonna get rich overnight. Cause a lot of times that's what I'm hearing from people. They're trying to put in a thousand bucks, they're gonna make 10,000. There's a lot of people who do it, but high risk, you have a very, very high risk of losing all of that. So if you have like a high risk type of uh, persona and you can handle losing that money, lose it, go for it. But most people don't, they don't wanna lose a thousand dollars. So you wanna mitigate your risk as much as possible and work your way up. So that's that guys. Like always, I'm giving out Bitcoin and Ether. You gotta leave a comment below with your Bitcoin and Ethereum address and a suggestion, okay? Not just your Ethereum and Bitcoin address, none of that stuff, okay? And if I've given you before, I'm gonna give it to you again. I know who I've given it to before, I have a list, okay? And uh, make sure to share this video, peace.